a lot of upper body soft tissue injuries. When it's tough, you gotta get f***ing tougher. <laughs> Go! One of the injuries that's popping up week to week now is concussion related, where players are getting a lot of bangs to the head, etc. One to four players are injured pre-season. During competition, in the second half of the game, we have maximum injuries occur. We're gonna f***ing marmalise them, alright? One, two, three, four! The benefit of thermography in sport is it leads to better evaluation of injuries, therefore allows the player to longevity in the sport to stay in the game for longer. As a physiotherapist at Bury St Edmunds Rugby Club, uh, thermography has been really good for um, diagnosing issues before they become an injury. The challenge I face as a head coach at Bury St Edmunds is, is trying to obviously get as many players fit for selection on a Saturday. Um, also then we've got to communicate with the medical team with regards to which players potentially may be hiding injuries, which players may cause more damage if they're selected on a Saturday for a fixture. Thermography has been useful in evaluating these injuries, monitoring them post-competition, ensuring that these injuries are not going to last. One of the injuries that's popping up week to week now is concussion related, where players are getting a lot of bangs to the head etc. So that's the type of injuries we face on a week to week basis. As a physiologist I'm interested in function and thermal imaging is one way of actually understanding what's happening within the, the, the body. For example we can see whether areas of heat, inflammation, also whether there's areas of cold as a result possibly of damaged blood supply and damaged nerve supply. <laughs> It's also an extra diagnostic tool um, that we can use with our clinical impression. As director of Sports Therm, it's crucial that our technicians are fully qualified and trained uh, for standardisation and protocols. There's many ele elements that they need to consider, including environment, thermal regulation of the player, um, and standardising the images that are collected. <laughs> 